Hi guys, Precisely. what's happening? We're over here. <laughs> yeah, you're over there. L listen, I, I thought this for a second was a Zoomavoids base. I was like, man, Exumavoids made a base on my server. This uh, place looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, T. What, what, what's going on here? This is quasi 1987's base. Uh huh. And this is his storage. And as you can plainly see, there he has a pet. Yeah. Um, there's quite a few pets over here. I see. L listen, b before we get into this base, which um, I've got to say is absolutely amazing from what I can see from here. And I'm looking at this map over here. And <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like we've got quite a lot of stuff to look at, Quasi. Uh, uh, having a look at the peeps on the server over here, quite a few people. I'm going to right click on Quasi also. Let's have a look at this. Staff there, member, two maps. 108 there's days online. 1 million Dogcraft dollars, 69 hours on the server, 146 frags. You've killed 146 cyber dogs, Quasi. What the freak, my dude? Also, you died 400 times. So, yeah. Uh, one of the old school cyber diggity dogs on the server. It looks like a T, you know? Quasi, man, you've been, yeah. here, you've been here forever, my dude. I think he came back uh, during the start of the second survival uh-huh <laughs> the revival of the server so to speak right um okay so this i suppose is the I sort of central bit of this bit of the base that we're in yes and the map behind you on yeah. over there is his map the map behind me is havana oh i see i was looking at the wrong freaking map wasn't I? i'm an idiot yeah here we are <laughs> my goodness <laughs> That, yeah, mm -hmm. it it's magnificent. I especially like the bomber jet coming in from the west. That looks sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I keep looking at his zoom avoid. It's freaking me out. <laughs> yeah, it can do that. It's really there's a area in I think Survival One where literally you're there, Fossey's there, yeah, Tango's there. It's for Peter's plot, and it's got literally like seven different hermits. Nice. <laughs> Um, right, so let's make start making our way through the space, T. We got quite a long way to go. Uh, Quasi, you, I, I, you know, I don't even want to think about how much time you put into this. But, well, we know um, a lot, and uh, it's looking so freaking awesome so far. So this is the store, the storage area. I mm -hmm. see some squids and whatnot above there, which is sweet. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, lead the way, problem. T. <laughs> I've lost already. <laughs> yeah. It's also a zoo. Uh, a, z a zoo? As in like... And oh yeah, okay. Now it's, it's starting to come together in my brain now. There, there's our first trapped zoo creature. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Shirk's uh, cousin. <laughs> what the freak, man? Shirk's... I think he was supposed to put Shrek. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I prefer the name Shirk, to be honest. I think that works great. <laughs> Yeah, oh, actually. Oh, we got an Enderman in here with the freaking Endermite up in here too. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> the Endermite's uh, freaking and out. And oh, that's Quasi's pet out. over there. Nice, very nice. Yeah, uh, the Quasi, yeah, Quasi's pet is, I believe, the one that you don't want to let go. Of I this see. Place. So I'm starting to sort of pick up what you're putting down over here. This is a base. Uh, dedicated to the capture and uh, imprisonment, in eternal imprisonment, that is, of mobbage in Minecraft, right? Uh, yes. And Iskow's greatest fear is diorite, so therefore there's going to be diorite right outside this door. Nice. Wow. <laughs> is this every single mob head acquired? Uh, that he has acquired, yes, thus far, yes, he loves mob heads. That's awesome. That's awesome. Almost. Almost everything. What are we missing? Uh, th a shulker head? I think we're missing a shulker head, aren't we? I think so. He said he has almost all of them, but not all of them. Okay, viewer challenge. What head is missing? Go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Quasi. I helped you out, man. Some maniac on the internet's gonna figure out which head you still need. 
<laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here's the guardian pit, which you definitely don't want to fall in there. That That's going to be instant fraggage. Uh, and uh, we got a little baby zombie kept in the middle in a little cage. Oh, bless him. Um, do they all have names? That's a question that I wanted to ask about all of these trap mobs. Um... They, I think the only one that has one, no, some have names, but his wither, for example, has one name, but not all of them. Uh, wait, his wither? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just, t just got a That's... bit more terrified, T. Le lead on. <laughs> That's why there's, there's a Quasi's pet on the top of your screen. Oh, I see. That makes, okay. Y you go first. You go first. Like Oh Voila. my goodness. <laughs> He's in there just chilling. Oh man, okay. Um, that is... Okay, that's one of the scariest things I've ever seen. I'm assuming that he's trapped in there because we don't have uh, mob block breaking on the server, right? And so that's the only way we could trap him. Uh, sort of. His area is claimed by him so it wouldn't destroy anything. Ah, oh, that's very smart. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. And, uh, yeah, you know, just a casual yeah, wither, yeah. just hanging out in your base. I mean, you know, nothing, cra nothing crazy about that at all. Okay, it's so now quasi. we're coming up to the surface. <laughs> and, uh, mm. ooh, <laughs> that is, that's a lot of diorite. <laughs> that is, wow, that is a lot of diorite. The lore is that when Iskow burned all of his diorite, this is the diorite cathedral, actually, when uh, Iskow burned all his diorite, it yeah. ended up back on the server. <laughs> all that Iskow burns on Dogcraft, it returns. And oh, any, that's awesome. Any, any diorite he burns, period, ends up on the Dogcraft server. Yeah, mm -hmm. comes through this portal and gets used in this crazy base. And you know what? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of diorite either, but this this kind of, this looks actually really pretty good. I gotta say. It actually makes it work. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's still diorite, but it's, it's good. Oh, look, there's me. Oh, that's weird. That's what, that's what's happened to my skin? Uh, it hasn't updated. Right. <laughs> um, it's bugged. And yeah. so he decided he was going to play with it or try something new after seven years of playing with this game and trying to do something different. So he decided to take the diorite and make this. Very nice. No I mean, I, I love the scale of it. It's absolutely massive and it it's great. It actually works real good. And and I'm seeing a couple of beautiful things here too. Oh, look at that gorgeous face over there. Whew. Man, is, is, this, is this where Quasi collects the ladies in this corner over here? You know, they come and chill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, and these are number ones. Uh, these are chunk maps, by the way, for those of you guys who are wondering. These are actually created on a, on a chunk somewhere on the server, and then a map made of the chunk. And uh, mm -hmm. people do that on the server, right? They're like, uh, they're pieces of art, I suppose? Yeah, they were made by our crazy PT. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing. I, I approve of the top one, especially, I must say. Very, very... Of course. Very handsome, you know? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome. So this is like the diorite cathedral of awesomeness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is absolutely crazily huge. <laughs> that is, I uh, think Quasi has the motto of Tango of go big or go home. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is probably one of the biggest um, like uh, bases for a, a, a single person on the server, I would say, right? Like a, a base that one person has made. It's like one of the biggest, I think. Uh, one of yeah. the biggest completed bases, I, I suppose. Yes, and he's still working on it. Yeah, I mean, it's so big, it's even co connected to the SRN. Mm-hmm. You know? And he actually has a subline from it, too. Yeah, he's got his own freaking SRN station, and that, of course, stands for the uh, uh, Server Railway Network, right? <laughs> yeah. Survival. Man. Survival... Or Survival Railroad Railway Network. Yeah. You know what I really love about this base? And this is something that I love doing too. Like there's these industrial things running through the base. Like this is obviously some sort of a item transport pipe here. I'm not sure what this transport uh, ports, but we've got an item elevator here. And then this goes along some sort of hopper chain or something. Or is it literally just for looks? It's a, <laughs> it's a farming. 
Yeah. Like for his his creeper farm. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, there's so many yeah, things I got, to, uh, that I see. I just get distracted wherever I look over here. Lead on there, T. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he also had his personal line is actually called the Nitwit Railway line. Right. <laughs> the and the Nitwit, Nitwit Railway like, line, yeah. Over there. Yeah. So this is yeah, that's the cathedral. Um, Man. that is his sugarcane farm and his all that all the normal farms. <laughs> the unspawnable here. spawner. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many crazy i mean like if you're on the server you need to come and and just come and spend a, a day or two here in the base and just look around i mean quasi quasi should charge freaking uh entry fee for this area <laughs> get some tourist dog craft dollars up in here you know <laughs> that would be interesting <laughs> little mushroom farm over here that's really cool i love this mushroom hold on let me get a better view of that oh that's beautiful that's a beautiful shroom over there if I ever did see one. I need a screenshot of this thing. There we go. Nice. That's inspiring me. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, a, a mushroom made a dire, right? Yeah. Well, uh, it, it actually works, right? Because it, it looks like uh, the, the... Yeah, it looks mushroomy, I suppose. Well, he's the only person I know that can make diorite work in, in just about anything. <laughs> yep. So this is kind of like the industrial area of the base. We've got a whole bunch of different mm -hmm. farms over here. We've got shroomage. We've got sugarcane and whatnot. And uh, I'm loving, like, the, the chorus fruit just chilling. Just every now and then a little bit of different, like, foliage in the base. And, uh, yeah, we've got some massive farms over here. This is obviously where the chorus fruit farm is. Absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea where I am right now. Okay, what do we have over here? Yes. <laughs> do, do, donate oh. die right. Yeah, that's the donation center. <laughs> oh, here's Quasi chilling. He's waiting for some die right. Do you throw the die right in here? <laughs> uh, you throw it in one of the chests, yes. Oh, you stick it in here. Okay, awesome. Oh, that's sweet. So anybody who wants to come and give uh, Quasi a bunch of die right, well, you know where to come. <laughs> Just come and drop it off here. That's awesome. That way, it doesn't go to waste and he can use it in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, like, diorite is an interesting block in Minecraft, right? Because I don't think it gets collected very often. I think a lot of people just ignore it or burn it or throw it away. So in some ways, it's actually kind of a rare block because no one ever collects it. Uh, so this is Embassy District, right? It looks like mm -hmm. it. That is uh, Havana there, and I think that is... Uh... Who is this? Oh, Napolis, which I believe is Josh's. Sweet. So that's another embassy for another city. And mm -hmm. here's the Akaran and, embassy also, which is awesome. Yeah, and, there's a Napolis, Akara, Salas, and Man, and then one more. Oh, and that's, yeah, like the embassies have a map of their own uh, their own cities also inside of the embassies. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Wow, Akara's come on real nice since we last looked at it. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of boom <laughs> after they opened. <laughs> yeah. So if you're a member of any of the cities, you know, you can you can come and chill. You can come to Quasi's base just using uh, the, uh, the, the the server railway network, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, then travel through the embassies and see who's all here. Yeah, I, I love the fact that the server is so connected via rails. It, it, it pleases me. It pleases and then, me. And it's all, then he has a lot of room left for more. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also, it's night time, so it was difficult to spot, but I have spotted the bomber up there. That's pretty that, awesome. Oh, man. The, there's actually a squid farm <laughs> underneath the mushroom island that, you're, that I'm standing on. Oh, there is? Oh, this this is actually a, is this actually a, a mushroom biome? Is this a mushroom no. biome? No, this is deep no, ocean. It's... Oh, this is a fake mushroom biome? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Oh, that is epic. I, I love the missiles coming out of this bomber. Hold on, I want to get it another is... look at it. It's a fake biome, and it's not rin proof yet. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I see. <laughs> I love the missiles coming out. Like, th those missiles are basically heading straight for Quasi's base. Like, And I'm assuming these are some nuclear-tipped missiles because this is a stealth bomber. I mean, what's is this bomber just for fun or is there some sort of a story to this? Why is this bomber about to uh, obliterate it, 
<laughs> There's a prank that Gowan did on Quasi. Oh, I see, I see. And and it's, it just ended up being so awesome, you just kept it. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. The view from up here is amazing of this base from on top of the bomber. I love it. Oh, you don't have wings, T. <laughs> Never mind. I'm fine. I'm down here with Quasi. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yep, I see some creepers and stuff on the Mushroom Island. I've... Uh, I've I'm not gonna land on that on there. I'll I'll come back Might to be you a guys. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. And the railway network just goes off into the distance over there. Who knows where that goes? Amazing. Uh, where are you guys? I've lost you. Quasi, what can I say, man? One of the most impressive bases that I have seen on this server. Uh, you know, amazing. Thank you so much, my dude. T, thank you for taking us around. It's it's You're great. Welcome. I love it. And uh, yeah, good work, everybody. I I shudder to think what this place is going to look like in a year, but at the moment, it's absolutely immense and epic. Thanks for the tour, guys. <laughs> Bird of the cat who was once on a star uh, that was that is called thirteen. Hi. Hi. D did I confuse you? A little bit. <laughs> yep that that was my goal. Yes, mission successful. Base tour over. Thanks, Bernstein. We'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> I'm right. kidding. Oh, my goodness. What the freak just happened? Oh, did you just take off your armor? Yes. Okay. Uh, listen, um, we're doing a new thing in base tours from now on. Okay? At the beginning of each base tour, um, you get probed. All right? So, stand still, please. This won't hurt um, a a a much. Get probed. Uh, online time, one day and eight hours. Wow, my dude. That's, uh, that's quite a long time. However, it looks like you're fairly new here on the server. You've only killed one person or so. Good job, my dude. Good job. You've only killed one person. He was yeah, your victim. I've actually, um, I don't remember, actually. It was, like, last summer. Okay. I joined here almost a year ago, but I've been pretty inactive. Oh, okay. Um, because just yeah. life... Yeah, listen, you know what the awesome thing about Minecraft and Dogcraft is? It ain't going nowhere, my dude. It's always here for you. You know, when, when you got some time, you can always log on and come and play. And that's what's awesome about this game. Uh, speaking of awesome, what is going on here, man? <laughs> like, what, what, is, what is, what the actual freak is that? It looks like a giant banana with, with paws. Is that All an right, accurate so... description? That's one way to look at it. So, um, this big curly looking thing, this is actually supposed to be a ferret. Okay. Um, a, f a, a ferret? What? A an ferret. It's a Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh, like an animal? And I was going to try to get a better angle, you know? I didn't want to, I didn't want to question your building skills. I was like, this does not look like a ferret. Th this looks like a worm. And this looks like a Pokemon. Yeah, it's that, it's the, it's that Pokemon. Okay, it, it makes sense to me now. Mm -hmm. It's actually a very good rendition, uh, Mr. Cat, I must say. I'm, I'm impressed. Thank you. Is this your favorite Pokemon? Why did you choose this particular Pokemon? Yes, that's it. And what, what is this that, Pokemon's particular it. skills that, that you like so much? I mean, it's a freaking worm, my dude. Like, it can't be that powerful, um, you know? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny... Um, like, the backstory is really long-winded, but basically, um, the shorthand of it is, um, it has this ambient animation, uh -huh. where it, and where, like, in Pokemon Go, it'll look straight at the player, uh -huh. and I thought that was adorable, so one day I was like, I'm gonna just keep screenshotting it until I get a screenshot of that frame of the animation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got the screenshot, and I was like, okay, this is too cute, I need to do something with this. Uh -huh. So I set it as my profile photo on literally every site that I use that <laughs> okay. lets you set a profile photo. Uh -huh. um, and long story short, after a while of just staring at that image for a while, I was just like, okay, this is awesome. This is my favorite now. <laughs> so basically, it's my favorite because it's cute. That is that is hilarious, my dude. Like, of all the stories you could have told me of why you chose this Pokemon as your favorite, that is the least one that I could have expected. I was hoping for, you know, I thought you were going to say something like, it's a worm, but it's the most powerful Pokemon ever created. Instead, you're like, it's the background of my phone, so it's my favorite. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Okay, so it's your favorite Pokemon. Very good. I, I it's I think it's great, Bill. It looks, it looks sweet. Uh, we got some wheat out here, too. You know, you've got to feed yourself a bit. And we're on Survival 1, so the very first server, 
uh, on our server, or very first world on our server. Um, and I guess this is, this looks like the end to me. Yes. Um, my base is kind of like a kitchen sink kind of base. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. I've got the furret, but I've also got this end city themed build I'm putting together. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's basically just like a custom version of an end city. Um, and that's pretty much it. I've I actually... mean, it, it kind of looks like a house that this worm might live in. Although I don't, it, he at his current size, he wouldn't really be able to squeeze in here. But, you know, like the style kind of matches the worm, <laughs> so to speak. Maybe just in my own brain, bird. J just ignore me. Okay. That works. <laughs> <laughs> the, the idea you're talking about. Nice. But yeah, we got like a nice view of the area over here. Is this all of your stuff or we got some neighbors over here? Looks like it. Um, All of that is like other people. <laughs> the fur and everything between these um, dark oak posts inside that area, that's all me. Oh, Everything okay. So the dark oak post like outlines your plot area here. Very cool. So this is your this is the, the land upon which the bird star cat exists. Your neighbors have like come pretty close to you though, man. You need to get hold of the city council about this. This is this is impeding your view. You know, like this giant building over here is impeding your view of that glorious swamp land bird star. I mean, wait, who wants to look at a swamp land? Am I right? Actually, the fact that this is a swamp is why I wanted to build here. Okay. Um, on my first day on the server, um, I was just kind of wandering around. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, found this little alcove here, noticed it was a swamp, and I was like, oh, well, slimes can spawn here. So I placed ah. down my first chest and started building. Very nice. And then, were you the first one out here? Um, no, this area over here was already there and so was those two okay um, this right. one is new so you squeezed yourself in between <laughs> some peeps here to take advantage of the slimage that's being generated in this this biome very good i you know listen this server is about capitalism okay if, if you find yourself a good spot and you like it and nobody's claimed it you can claim it and uh, that's how it works that's how we roll around here you know very nice, my dude. So, uh, future plans for this area? I mean, uh, you know, you, you say that, that that you're not playing that much at the moment because of life and whatnot, but if you were to find a little bit more time, what are you thinking? You're going to stay here on Survival 1? Any 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 uh, thought of maybe moving over to Survival 2, starting a brand new uh, base out there? What are you thinking, man? A little bit of both. Um, what I'm first planning on doing is getting this little end city thing up to... Um, a point where I'm satisfied with it as far as progress goes and then once I'm done here I'm going to move over to survival 2 when 1.13 mm -hmm. comes out and then basically do the same thing all over again but with different things very nice yeah everybody's waiting for the 1.13 update including us also <laughs> I can't wait for the 1.13 update oh my goodness it's gonna be so sweet and maybe uh you know maybe there's like a water-based Pokemon that you could build in, for the yes, actually. A yeah. um, little bit of a spoiler. I was planning on doing uh -huh. Gyarados. I was going to make like just this giant Gyarados and then live inside it. Uh, for <laughs> for those of us who don't know what a Gyarados is, what what is a Gyarados? Um, it's based on um, Chinese dragons. Those okay. little snake-looking dragons. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's one of those, but it's blue. Nice. So you can make a massive one and live inside it. My dude, that sounds like a pretty epic freaking yep. base, if you ask me. You know, may listen, maybe this will inspire you to actually do it. And uh, maybe we could we could have another base tour in like a year and go inside of your lizard or something. Yes, that, that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> ben Star, my dude, thank you so much for the tour. Uh, I'm sorry if I weirded you out. Uh, we started off with some probage, so yeah, you know, it didn't start to base to. Hey, um, do you still have the book that I gave you? In oh, the you last get, time oh yes, you, you you did give me a book. I think. Hold on, I've got a couple books here. Uh, invalid book tag. That one says, and this says invalid book tag too. Uh, uh, I I don't I don't have the book anymore. J j a bit of a side oh. story for the viewers. Um, some of these base tours I we actually did about a month ago or so, but I accidentally deleted all the files. So we, we're doing them, some of them again. So, um, yeah. Uh, 
Bird start, my dude, what was in the book again? Um, it wasn't much really, it was just me thanking you for coming out to the tour and then kind of spelling out some sentimental stuff. Oh yes, it, it, it was great, it was great. Dang it, I can't believe I lost the freaking book. Like, I have the book, but it's broken, which is annoying. But yeah, I, I remember the book and you said some really nice stuff about me and about the community and stuff. And yeah, man, Monty, thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for the tour. <laughs> And uh, hopefully we'll see you again in the future. And uh, we'll come and check out your lizard. Do you know what I mean? Nice. <laughs> awesome. Cheers, my dude.